Hello and welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. I want to thank TV47 and Robert especially for all they do to help us get our events out to, to the community and to let us know or let them know what, what's going on in the community at the library and things like that. So we appreciate that so much. Today, Rocky Lucas is joining me. He is president of the Sylacauga Young Professionals. So thank you so much for being here today. Well, Mandy, I, I appreciate you having me. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure to come. And, and do these shows on TV right. 47. They uh, they really they really do a great job and a they great do. service in our community. They do. Well, speaking of that, you guys with the young young professionals do a great job in our community too, and, and a lot of service. <laughs> well, we appreciate I, all you do. Well, yeah, I appreciate you saying that. We uh, we really try. Uh, we really try to. To, to help everybody, you know, that we can right. in the community, whether right. that's, uh, you know, food drive or just uh, monetary donations. Yes. Uh, yeah. We really try to, uh, really try to, to, to make, to keep organizations that are doing good work in our community yes. viable. And, yeah. and help support them to keep we'll them go. around because we got to have them. And we are one of them. We're going to get to that in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I jumped into that before. Tell tell them what are what are the Silicaga Young Professionals? What is that? So? Yeah. So so basically, uh, Silicaga Young Professionals. We've been around a little under two years. We started in the summer of 2016, mm -hmm. and uh, we are we're a civic organization. Okay. But we also put a. Uh, we put a social flair into into our civic organization, right. and so um, we're we're duplicating a lot of services that uh, that clubs like you know Kiwanis and and Rotary and Civitan, Civitan. Lions mm -hmm. Lions Club they're do they do such a great job, yeah. um, but we wanted to maybe appeal more to to some people that um, might not have the flexibility in their job to to you know attend a, a twelve o'clock noon right. on on a Monday meeting right. or you know as as everybody knows we have also a lot of people that that live in our in, live in mm -hmm. our city and, and that are raising their are raising their families in our city right. but may work out of town right. and so it's it's not really not really feasible or feasible or possible for them to to come back for a uh, for a twelve o'clock a noon meeting, a noon meeting. Yeah, right. and so uh, most of our meetings are held, um, you know, five thirty, six o'clock, maybe even six thirty, um, mm -hmm. and and we try, like I said, to to not just meet and just talk about what we're going to do, but but our meetings, uh, and we try to do them monthly. There are right. a, maybe two or three months, and you know, throughout the course of the year, where where we you know we're planning for a really big right, event, yeah. and we might take the month off. Oh sure, but uh, but we do try, uh, you know. We, we try to have a, a meeting uh, once a month, and there's there's always a purpose uh, behind our meetings. There's right. no, you know, we're not just just meeting just to just to get together. To we're we we're always, you know, we're always benefiting someone, yeah. or you know, we're working towards benefiting someone. Yeah. And so yeah. it's uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's uh, we were talking earlier. It's uh -huh. it's really a it's really kind of in its infant stages, SYP is, mm -hmm. um, but um, we've gotten some traction in the community. Uh, yeah, we've got some good partners uh, like the Board of Education. Oh, that's wonderful. They are, uh, they're partnering mm -hmm. with us, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll throw a plug in there real sure. quick. Uh, any, anybody that works for Sylacauga City Schools, uh, because of the partnership we have with them, uh, can become a member of Sylacauga Young Professionals uh, without uh, without any membership dues okay. so for free basically right well wow. now what what are the dues they're not not very much are they? no no uh, in the spirit of being an all-inclusive organization uh -huh. our dues are only twenty five dollars a year Wow that's not a month per right. year right. and and those membership mm -hmm. dues uh, mm -hmm. we have around 50 members right now right um, those membership dues as with any organization mm -hmm. uh, you do need a little a little sure. money to, oh, to yes. operate yeah. but um, most of our most of most of our money comes from sponsorships from businesses in town. Oh, we really right. partner with them and, and really lean on them a lot because yeah. we're we're in kind of a a fortunate uh, spot because we don't Silicon Young Professionals we don't really. We don't really need a lot of money to operate, right. and we we definitely don't want to make any money because we're <laughs> right. you know we're we're not in this to uh, you know to try to put money into our coffers, and so right. uh, those membership dues twenty five dollars a year are just just enough to kind of right. keep us going. If well, we you need. have events, you have posters, and that's things right. Like that. That's right. Sure. Maybe to cover expenses on the front end before we get mm -hmm. our sponsorships from those mm -hmm. businesses. So I think that's great. And you said there's no age requirement, so no, there's yeah. not. You know. Uh, 
we You're as young as you feel. Huh? That's right. That's right. Age is you know age is just uh, age is just a number. Uh, mm-hmm. We really it we is. really believe that. Uh, we really believe that. Uh, you know, if if you think and you feel mm-hmm. like that you want to be a part of our organization, <clears throat> we definitely do not want uh, age to to limit. You know people right. join in our organization That's so right. um you know we uh we try to be we try to be all inclusive uh you know like sure. i said our, our dues are inexpensive yes. um and and there's no age limit mm-hmm. on our group so right. uh, we just we uh we hope you know hope you'll you'll come out and join us yeah it's great one thing i really like about it too is um i know the purpose is to get involved be active and net network and that's just being with other people but and in in your events you support local local business here you have events here in town right right to. and and that's that's part of our that's part of our our, our mission, and I know mm-hmm. it's not necessarily in our mission statement, mm-hmm. but part of our mission is to support businesses. So we have not had mm-hmm. an event in the nearly two years that we've been in existence that was not hosted by a local business. Wow! And the local businesses are great, whether it's uh, you know whether it's a, a restaurant in town, mm-hmm. you know, offering food or drink specials, right. um, you know, to going to those businesses when it's time for an event, uh, you know, asking for sponsorships. Right. They have been they have been nothing but they've been nothing but great. Um, nice. You know, and and some of the businesses, and I'm I'm sure, and I hope I don't leave somebody out, <laughs> but but you know, we're really fortunate. You know, we've had help from from Harvey's on Noble, mm-hmm. um, from La Costa. Odie's Deli is mm-hmm. always a big player. Right. Uh, Patrick is actually on our board. Oh, good. And so yeah. uh, Patrick really helps us out a lot with Odie's Deli. Um, Donnie and the folks down at Fermenter's Market at the mm-hmm. Rex, they're great. Uh, Pizza and Pint. Uh, Giovanni's, you know, so we we really had a we really had, I mean, huge support from the community, and we're trying to reciprocate that and, and make that a you know um, a two way street. Right. Well, it, well, I know one thing you're doing right now. I do. I need to plug the book book drive for the library. Well, I'm I figured you'd get. About, I figured you'd get to that. Yes, I want to be sure and promote that. We appreciate that y'all are collecting books. At the library, right? That's right, yeah. So um, we did this last year, uh, mm-hmm. last April. Yes. Uh, we we see that there are a lot of people, you know, especially during the couple of weeks that Marble Fest is going on yes. in town. There are a lot of people, whether they're, you know, local or from out of town, mm-hmm. that, that will visit the libraries. Probably, Absolutely. if I had to guess, it's, you know, and I don't know this, I'm stepping out. No. It's, uh, there's probably more traffic in and out of the library. It's one of the busiest times. Yeah. During the two weeks <laughs> yeah. of Marble Fest and maybe any other time of uh-huh. the year as far as foot traffic That's goes. That's true. And so, uh, so we felt like it would be a good time to, to yeah. do this book drive. And, and uh, so we did it last year and it was a, it was a success. Uh, yes, it we, was. We felt, we like, it was, uh, felt like it went well. Uh-huh. Um, a, again, you know, it doesn't cost anybody any money. Right. It's, uh, right. It, it helps our community because those books are then going to, they're going to be going back into yeah. our community, especially in a day where you know holding a book in your hands may may be uh, may be kind of going away it's good oh, that don't people, even say that it's, I hope not. It, it's good that no. it's good that people and you know I've got two daughters and we yeah you know we kind of make them, I know we make them hold the books library. and so uh, yeah. yeah you know we had a uh, we actually kicked it off it's it, it lasts the entire month of April the book okay. drive does mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, anybody that's got any books, you know, new or gently used, uh, there's right. no specific genre. Right. Uh, I know that right. you, you know, you guys are going to, going to kind of rifle through those and see which I ones did. we're going to put yeah. where and, and that yeah. type of thing. So just, if you've got any new or gently used books, bring them down to the library. Please bring them to the library. That is great. And yeah. we, we kicked our, I know it was, um, you know, a few days into April, mm-hmm. uh, but on Friday, this past Friday, right. uh, we kicked this book drive off with uh, with a social event uh, yes. down at Fermenter's Market at the Rex. Uh, we had Tommy Brown. Tommy always does a great job yes. for us, and so uh, so he played he played some music for us, and uh, uh, it was just a you know a great time was had by all. And we right. we did. I've actually got some books in my vehicle that I've got to bring oh, by good, today. So good. yes, please do. We'll so take we've uh, we've got a good start. So hopefully right. this month will end up well. Well, great. Well, we're going to pause for a commercial break and come back and talk some more about Silicaga Young Professionals. It's that time of year again. Time to celebrate the magic of our history, the magic of the Marble City. Visit the 10th Annual Magic of Marble Festival April 3rd through 14th. Watch sculptors from around the world at Bluebell Park. 
buy your own piece of art at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library, or take a quarry tour. For more information, visit bbcomerlibrary.net slash marvelfestival, or like us on Facebook at Sylacauga Marvel Festival. Come celebrate the magic of our Marvel City. As the designated champ city, Sylacauga is dedicated to being sure that every child has a healthy meal. Join us in spreading the word that healthy meals are available to children 18 and under as a part of Get Healthy Talladega County's after school and summer meals program. Remember, every meal matters. So get up and get moving. Get, get healthy, Sylacauga. Get, get healthy, healthy Talladega County. It all starts with you. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by today and see us. Marble City Pharmacy, where your health comes first. Hello and welcome back to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell. I'm talking with Rocky Lucas, who is president of the Sylacauga Young Professionals. And we, we ended talking a little bit about the book, book drive, and I've got to say a little bit more about that because we, we appreciate what y'all do for us. There, uh, Sylacauga Young Professionals is having a book drive, and you can drop books off at the Comer li Library. We have some boxes downstairs. Now, if you have a large, you know, you say, well, I have a lot of books I want to donate. That's awesome. That's great. You can just give us a call. You can bring them to the back. We'll come and get them and drop, drop them off. If you've got a, a box load in your car, let us know. We'll get them. That's we, right. we take the books and we look through them. Now, we, now we don't want any that are, are wet or mildewed or, or heavily damaged just because that we just we can't use those you know really um we take the one we look through our collection if you know if you've given us a book we look and see if maybe we if we don't have that book we add it to our collection for the kids to be able to check out if if we have if we have a copy we look and see if your copy is better than ours or you know or maybe we need two copies so we do that we swap you know see if we need to swap those out if it's a book that maybe we don't need because we have several copies or it, it's damaged more than than we could use on our shelves we put it in the bookstore and sell it and use that money to buy more books for children and I can tell you a lot of people shop in our bookstore a lot of people come in do you have any children's books and you can get them very inexpensively. And, and we use the money to buy more books, and people get some great books to take to their homes. So all the month of April, we, we appreciate y'all doing this for us. It's great. Well, you know, we're happy to do it. And, uh, you know, like I said, we, when we did this last year, uh, it was actually kind of the, the brainchild of, of Summer Ernest. Yeah. And so uh, we, uh, we did this last year and, and you know, uh, had, a, had a kickoff party for yes, it last year around yes. the same time. Oh, and, fun. Uh, you know, we were talking Friday night about how crazy it is that a year has gone by so quickly and they yeah. seem to go by so fast. And, and uh, so we had, you know, such a good response last year. Mm -hmm. We said, you know, what the heck, we'll try it again this year. Right. So hey, every the year. The response has been good so far and we it still got, you know, uh, over half the month yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. And we don't just take book, books for kids. We take adult books. We, I mean, at the library, anytime we take all kinds of donations. But if you're bringing some for Silica Young Professionals, please tell us and we'll, you know, put them in the right place. We We'd want to make sure y'all get a kind of a count of about how many books we get so you'll know yeah you know and it, it's always fun you know mm -hmm. it's always fun we don't really set any goals uh you right. know we don't really have a you know we want okay. to raise this many books but it's it's always fun to see you know how many we collect and, right. and uh you know see if we can you know top you know, last year's right, number, yeah. and, and so it's it's just, yeah, it is a lot of fun. You guys have a box set up for us we in do. the library. It's got, you know, it's got a, uh, it's it's marked. You, can, yeah. you can't can't really miss it, and right. so, uh, but of course, you know, I'll, always if you, you know, are having some trouble finding that box, see somebody in the library. Yes, ask the right us. Direction. We can certainly tell you, certainly tell you. I wanted to talk a, a little bit more. Um, I went on your fa Facebook page, yeah. which has all kinds of information and some great pictures of sure. some events y'all have done. Um, just wanted to read a little bit. Silica Young Professionals is a social organization that encourages young professionals to get involved, be active, and net network. Yeah. So, what does net networking mean? Uh, you know, kind of some. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. well, well, first, let we've me, talked about it. Yeah, so sure. <laughs> let me let me say this. Um, you mentioned the Facebook page. Yeah. Our Facebook page yeah. is our. Mm main conduit of communication um, with the community, uh, whether that's 
our membership or mm -hmm. folks that aren't a member of right. SYP. Just to know what's uh, going everybody on. Everybody needs to go out and like the Silicaga Young Professionals mm -hmm. Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't really have a website and, and uh, uh, the Facebook page is really the only uh, the, mm -hmm. the only source of social media that we're that we're you know we're using right now. It has a lot of information on it. Though, it it really you. does, and and <laughs> you know uh, because we won't be able to, you know I can talk to you about Silicon Young Professionals yeah. for three or four hours today, but uh, uh -huh. just go just go to our Facebook page again. That's Silicon Young Professionals. Um, like our page, and mm -hmm. you can see some of the things that, that we done that we've done that uh, we just haven't had the opportunity to talk about today. So. We you know, net, get in, get involved, mm -hmm. be active, mm -hmm. network. So get involved. We've we've kind of we, we noticed, and and this is really let me say this: um, the way that we got started uh, a little yeah. over a little over a year and a half ago. Um, this is something that had been talked about for a while. Uh, it's really kind of uh, you know the brainchild of. of Summer Newman Ernest and uh -huh. and really Lindsey Johns had a large uh -huh. part in it um, and myself and so we uh, we hosted a meeting uh, we sent out invitations yeah and we hosted a meeting at Harvey's um, on Noble just to see if there was any interest sure well of course uh, and and much to uh, really to our surprise we were you know inundated with with interest and so. That's right. You know, here we are. Here's Silicon Valley Young Professionals. So we recognized an opportunity <clears throat> for for younger people like ourselves mm -hmm. to um, to be involved in mm -hmm. our community, um, to to not come home from from work and you know hang out at the right. house. Um, you know, when there are events like the Marble Fest yes. going on in town, um, <clears throat> we 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 need to do that because, uh, like we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. there are so many just pillars of our community, people mm -hmm. that, men and women that that <clears throat> built the city of Sylacauga and made the city of Sylacauga yes. what it is today that have have either passed away right. or right. are aging and, and just can't do the things and They're keep up. They're not able to do all the footwork. And That's right. And so it's advanced. really it's really mm -hmm. on our shoulders to uh, to to do this and to keep to keep that's the right. city viable and to keep the city going, yeah. and so um, you know, so that's really the first two two parts of that: be involved and or get involved and be, be active. active. And yeah. so uh, now, networking. Yes. You know, we are a young professionals group. Um, we we do have. I mean, the majority of our membership. You know, you know, they work either in Sylacauga mm -hmm. or out of town, and you know, the the opportunity arises from time to time. Well, hey, I need this. Yes. Well, this is an opportunity for, you know, I met this guy at mm -hmm. Silicon Young Professionals the other night, mm -hmm. and he does what I'm looking for. Right. You know, and so networking, um, you know, whether that, you know, whether that means I can help you or you can help me, mm -hmm. um, that is, uh, you know, and, and in the spirit of, of helping local business, mm -hmm. it's really conducive for businesses to to be involved because there are you know we've got some 50 members right. that um, you know who then have families and mm -hmm. and we you know as much as as much as we you know we love and as much as businesses spend on advertising mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we recognize that um, in fact word of mouth is is great. is great <laughs> it's one, is, yeah. is a great and best, so if you, you know uh, that's that's part of our networking um, we also network to get ideas because uh, mm -hmm. we have actually a a three member um, kind of executive board. Uh, no. I'm, I'm the president right mm -hmm. now. Um, those those terms are a year long, by the way. Okay. Um, I'm the president. Shannon Masters is the vice yeah. president right now. Of course, we all know her. Um, we've got Lindsey Johns, who is our secretary treasurer, mm -hmm. and. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Lakeisha Crocker actually helped out a lot uh, when right. Lindsay was, uh, you know, was was having the baby, having and, the baby. and, and, and <laughs> yeah, busy that. with other she things. She was kind of tied up at the time, <laughs> oh, and yeah. so uh, then we all, then we have uh, you know a five member board. Of course, Lakeisha mm -hmm. is a member of that board. Right. Um, Summer Newman, Ernest, Steve mm -hmm. Marlowe, Matt Hubbard, and Patrick Otis. That's great. And so uh, we really, you know, we need ideas. You know, and sometimes the eight mm -hmm. of us 
run out of ideas. They just need new. That's right. Ideas. We're we're trying not to necessarily, especially with our events, mm -hmm. um, we're trying not to duplicate too much stuff because it gets old. You know, right, and right. People get tired of it. So you know, we 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 really need ideas. We really want to to network with these yes. with these folks that are that are members of SYP and and uh, get their ideas. That's how you get ideas though, talking. Huh. Maybe you and I are talking and makes you think of something or I think of something to make new ideas. Yeah, we call That's them great. light bulb moments. Yeah. You know, we, oh, That's we had perfect. a light bulb mo uh, moment. So yeah, so yeah it's, it's good. That's great. Well, we're gonna pause for another commercial break and we'll come back and talk a little bit more. Not getting a good night's sleep? Come into King's Mattress Outlet in Sylacauga and let us help you get that good night's sleep you deserve. We carry the best quality mattresses at the best prices. From Restonic, King Cole, and Park Place. Eurotop Queen mattresses start at $199. Check out our Restonic Cabot Eurotop mattress with 1,000 individually pocketed coils. Marvelous middle for back support and comfort gel memory foam. King's Mattress Outlet in Sylacauga. Best quality at the best price. As the youth ambassador for Get Healthy Talladega County's After School Healthy Meal Initiative, I want to share with you that the city of Sylacauga, as a chance city, is working closely with SAFE to expand access to after school meals. Help me spread the word to families that there are healthy meals available to children 18 and under. Every meal matters and it all starts with you. It's that time of year again, time to celebrate the magic of our history, the magic of the Marble City. Visit the 10th Annual Magic of Marble Festival, April 3rd through 14th. Watch sculptors from around the world at Bluebell Park. Buy your own piece of art at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library or take a quarry tour. For more information, visit bbcomerlibrary.net slash marblefestival or like us on Facebook at Sylacauga Marble Festival. Come celebrate the magic of our Marble City. Hello and welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Rocky Lucas and we're talking about Sylacauga Young Professionals and I think we could probably go on for a long time about it. I could. But, uh, that, <laughs> well, this is great. I know one thing I really like. I mean, I love that you support local business. I, I think that's wonderful and you help local nonprofit agencies like the library and a lot of others. I think that's great. Get people involved in their own community. But there's something, it's something to do, young people. I know for a long time people said there's nothing to do in Sylacauga. Well, you know, you're providing an outlet for that. Just something to do, something fun. Yeah, you know, here's the thing, um, you know, and, and <clears throat> sticking with the young professional's name, mm -hmm. we're people are going. People are going to be entertained. Right. Um, we would prefer to keep those people in town and yes. entertain them in yes. in town and give them give them outlets. <clears throat> give them, you know, give them somewhere to you know to to come in and, and have a good time after a long work week and right. and uh, you know because we're, we we all stay so busy and we all have you know we all work so hard you know in our lives mm -hmm. and 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 it's just an opportunity for us not to drive to Birmingham right. or to Auburn or to Montgomery right. to be entertained and and you know. Um, we may not offer at this time right now, uh, we're not able to offer maybe as much entertainment as some of those right. places, but I will say this, when we do something, our entertainment will rival uh, what yeah. they what they do in in bigger bigger cities. We were talking about that a minute ago. Using local talent most of the local time. Local talent, yeah. yeah you know, uh, Tommy, Brown. Tommy Brown has played <clears throat> for us uh, mm -hmm. a few times. Uh, just just last month on St. Patrick's Day, we yeah. had a big event. Uh, we used Jonathan Bloom from from Alex City. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, David Simpkins has played. Yeah. And you. You play. I have, I have played. I, uh, but yeah, we try to use as much local talent as we can. Um, uh, we we really try to appeal to a to a wide demographic. Mm -hmm. uh, we we like I said, we're we're all inclusive. We we try not to exclude anyone. So uh, all of our events are are family friendly. Great. You know, if we if we you know if if we do a a concert or an event. You know, in a parking lot downtown, right. most of the time, because I have a 12-year-old and an 8-year-old, right. um, and and most of our members have have young children. Sure. I uh, we recognize the need for, hey, you know, I I 
I don't really want to get a babysitter, or I, I can't right. find a babysitter, or the babysitter canceled. Right. You know, there are. Or I want to do something as a family, something my That's right. So we usually, at, at most of our, especially our big events, mm -hmm. we have uh, kid friendly events, whether that right. is a bouncy house or, oh, you know, sidewalk chalk and hula hoops yes. and face painting. And, oh. and so, and again, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that is, uh, that's something that we offer that, that doesn't really cost anything. Uh, we don't charge admission. Uh, we have not charged admission to any of our events so far. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we hope that, you know, and, and with our sponsors and our, and our partnerships, uh, we can mm -hmm. continue to do that. That's great. It's great that our, our community jumps in and supports, and you support the community and families. It's just a win-win all around. It really I is. Feel like. and, and the community's been huge. i got to say, right. you know, we were really kind of... Uh, quite frankly, apprehensive when we first started. Right. Anything we new. We didn't know because we wanted our, our dues to be, you know, so low that it could include everybody. But then at the same time, we were thinking, well, you know, we want to do these events and these events cost money. Yeah, How are we going well. to generate revenue? And yeah. so the community, you know, businesses, and I'm not even going to try no. to start naming <laughs> no. all of them. They have they have really stepped up okay. and been been phenomenal in helping us accomplish what we're trying to do. Great. So the best way for someone to join is to go to your Facebook page, get in touch with. Yeah, community. just you know, there's a there's there's a way that you can you can send us a private message um, mm -hmm. on the Facebook page. We will see it. Uh, you know, there are you know several folks that are you know quote unquote mm -hmm. administrators of that page, right. and so we can see that that message. If you have any questions. You know, please reach out to us again. That Facebook page uh -huh. is the best way yeah. uh, to, you know, to, to kind of track somebody down. If you would like to become a member, uh, you know, just uh, if you want a private message, uh, uh -huh. you know, your maybe your name and your number, and okay. one of us will get back in touch with you. Uh, to, to try to walk you through that process. And they'll know all the dues stay here. There's not like a statewide young professionals that you're associated with. It's just, it is all local. Right, right? yeah. Dues, none, of our, none of our none of our dues, none of our dues leave Sylacauga. As okay. a matter of fact, we really, we're, we're real proud of, of the fact that none of the money that we have raised, whether mm -hmm. it be through sponsorships, through an event, through dues, have left the city of Sylacauga. Right. There have That's been right. organizations that have that have called and sure. that have, you know, wanted us to kind of get involved with mm -hmm. their, you know, with, with their organization and they're very worthwhile. Please yes. don't get me wrong. We're community focused. They're, yes. Trying to communicate. We're community uh, focused. Yes. And, you know, a lot of these organizations might have been nationwide where when you send in the money, you really mm -hmm. don't know where that money's going. Uh, and again, not to downplay the importance right. of that organization. Right. There's a place for all of that. Yeah. We want to keep it in town. That's great. That's great. We have less than a minute, but what is your next event you're kind of planning on? So yeah, you know, the last two years we have uh, we've done a uh, uh, a shrimp bowl, and and uh, that's usually sometime in the middle of July. Good. So uh, we'll have that planned this Good. month in the month of April. We'll we'll have kind of you know hopefully all the details ironed out and, and know exactly when it's going to be and what we're going to be yeah. doing. And uh, so stay tuned. Again, the Facebook page yes. is where you need to go to keep up with any, any updates. So be sure to look for that. And be sure to get involved with the book, book drive, you know, one more time. That's <laughs> well, right. Keep plugging that. it. And we appreciate what you do. And Rocky, we appreciate your group for what you do. I know I'm a hometown girl. This is my home. And I'm just glad when anybody does things to support the community. Well, thank so. you so much. And thank you for having me on oh, today, you're Mandy. you're welcome. We're glad you're here. And hope you'll join us next time on Library Connections.